Hey, Heather from Hooked on Pickin' here. It's been a while since I've gotten a palette. I got one here and we're gonna unbox it and I'm gonna give you all the statistics about it. All right, so I've got all the statistics. I'm gonna walk over here and show you. I wrote it out for you guys just so you can see it and so I can remember. So this is a bulk palette. It's different from the cases, which are the boxes that I've um, unboxed before on this channel. Um, it is uninspected returns, and I'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. Um, my cost when I looked on the bulk website was $490 is what I actually paid for the palette, but that's not the total amount that I paid. Every palette from bulk has a flat rate shipping fee of $200 and uh, occasionally they run specials but their usual fee is $200 so you add $200 to $490 we're up to $690 but that's not the total amount you actually also have to pay taxes on it and so after um, shipping and taxes I paid a total of $710.70 I always take into consideration the shipping cost when averaging out how much each item costs so it's got 42 items in it which means my average cost based off the 71070 is $16.92 per item. So basically about $17 an item. It's got some really cool stuff in it. There were a few items that I found that hopefully if they're in good shape, I can make about 400 bucks a piece on. So, you know, 17 bucks to 400, I'm okay with that. Now, when doing uninspected returns, there's a variety of different things you're gonna get as far as condition. You're gonna get brand new items, like you buy something from the store, you don't want it, you take it back, it's in the original packaging, you never even opened it. You're gonna get those kinds of items. You're gonna get items that maybe are shelf pulls where the box is crushed and therefore they're not going to sell it. You get those types of things, which means the item's in good condition, you can still sell it, it's just got a crushed box, so I usually flip those on eBay. Then you can even get the ones where someone took it home, they opened it up, they took half the parts out, they put the rest back in the box, brought it back to the store, and it's that. So it's totally unsellable, totally unusable, it doesn't work at all, and so you get a variety of different things. Also, when looking up on the manifest, they give you a list of all, um, almost all the things in the box, but there's usually some things that are listed as general merchandise, which means it's totally a gamble. I have no idea what it is. It's always a fun treasure hunt to try to figure out what that is. And I've been pleasantly surprised before and found some things that are actually worth a, quite a deal of money, but they're listed as general merchandise. And so there's no way for me to look it up beforehand. So, so that we don't delay it anymore, let's go ahead and get this palette opened and see what we got. So I got my handy dandy box cutter. This thing is just about as big as me. <laughs> So um, the way that I got this box, um, I'll show some pictures and some video, a large truck pulled up and you have to set it up and they schedule a drop off for you. And then this is the company that actually shipped it. Um, and then they just come with a pallet and they roll it, they rolled it right inside the space. So it was actually really easy drop off because I have the space for it. But um, it's pretty easy to do. They give you a time frame, and then they usually call you about 15 minutes beforehand to let you know when they're going to be here so that you don't have to block out like a whole day. Alrighty. So all the pallets usually have a little bit of a lower entrance on one side. So as you can see, this pallet, like I said, has 42 items in it. And so the items are relatively large items. And I knew that from the get go that they were going to be big because I think that I can make some more money on them because of the way they flip them. All right. So let's see how many muscles I have <laughs> to get these things out. Um, I have no idea. So I think we're going to be opening things as we go along because this is a generic looking box. I have no idea what's in it. So we're gonna open as we go as go along just so that you guys get all your money's worth. All right. It definitely looks like something that's been shipped before or maybe that's just the box they used. So. Padded real nice. Oh, this is nice. It's a New Orleans Saints I don't know if you can see it real well. Let me move it over to the table. It's a New Orleans Saints uh, stadium picture, all framed, very gorgeous looking. Let me take the padding out of it here. Just stick it down here. Here we go. Welcome Kevin Tillery. So Kevin Tillery Day at Louisiana Superdome. So that's cool. 
Alrighty, so I'll put the padding back in there. That's a nice box to be able to ship it in. So if I do sell that one, uh, it'll be nice. I've got a nice uh, comforter set. Looks brand new, alcove. Um, looks like probably for a king or a queen. I'll have to look on the manifest and see what it's listed as. Um, but it's a whole bed set actually, is what it says. Alcove bed set. So, alrighty. Try not to trip on my microphone here. Let's see what else is in here. Sorry, these are, oh my goodness. Okay, see, remember how I talked about various different conditions? <laughs> Somebody had entirely too much fun with aluminum tape on this one. So <laughs> we're gonna find out why they decided to um, protect it from aliens, I guess, because they had to use aluminum tape or maybe it's the only thing they had in their house. I find it rather humorous. All right, let's see. Okay, what in the world? So this is how you box something up, evidently. Okay, it's a bedding set. It looks like it's an alcove bedding set, just like the one I pulled out, because this is the same packaging, but they crammed it inside of a box, and it's a white and black one. So if I sold this one, this one would definitely probably go on eBay, uh, simply because it's not in the original packaging. This one I can, this nice one I'll sell probably on Amazon, but that one's gonna for sure go on eBay simply because it doesn't have any other original packaging on it. Alrighty, Mastercraft Pulsar products. I'm gonna set it over here and open it. All right, Pulsar products. I'm trying to see if there's a name of what it is. Nope, just how much it weighs. All right, let's see what's in here. All righty. Definitely looks like it's been opened before um, and been used. But these kinds of things, it looks like some sort of a cleaning machine. Pressure washer. The pressure washer. I'm not going to pull this whole thing out because I'll never get it back in there. But it's a big old huge pressure washer machine. The hardest part about getting liquidation bulk boxes is not wanting to keep it yourself because as soon as I saw that this was a pressure washer, I was thinking to myself, I should just keep this because you know the little green mold stuff that grows on the side of your siding from time to time? But every two years we get that on our house and it'd be nice to use, but oh, keep your head in the game. You're in the reselling business. So that's the hardest part probably about buying things um, on liquidation is you didn't think you needed it till you opened the box and saw it in there and suddenly, oh yeah, I need, to, I need that and I'm gonna keep it. So, alrighty, let's see what's in this one. Try not to break it. Caution, lithium batteries, do not. It's a drone. It's a one, two, three, four, five, six propeller drone. That's awesome. So I will have to inspect that further and make sure it's in really good condition um, and probably test it to make sure it works. So that's cool. I think that was one of the ones that when I looked at it, it was gonna be about a $400 bill if I could flip it and it was brand new. Now, the cool thing is, is even if it isn't brand new or the box has been opened, I could probably sell it used for about $200. This is World Kitchen. So it's some sort of a kitchen supplies and somebody, instead of silver tape, they went for black tape. So we're getting a variety of different packaging options here. So if you want to, you know, get your get your handy dandy list out, you can you can write down, you know, silver tape and black tape and clear tape and Okay, this looks like a knife set with a sharpener in it. I'm trying not to cut my own fingers off here cuz they really went heyday with the black tape. And and as you can see, it's been packaged lovely. They actually said, I don't want this anymore. I'm just chuck it all in the box. So I will have to inspect it, make sure that the knives are in really good condition and that they're not broken. It looks actually similar to a set I have, but I just broke the tips off of my knives doing something. I don't remember what I was doing, but so I'm hoping for Christmas that I maybe I'll get a new knife set. Of course, I have a couple of nice liquidation ones over there that I might just keep myself. All right. This I think is a hammock. It's a big netted hammock. Yeah, and I think this is the original box it comes in because it says do not cut with a sharp knife. 
All right. Um, so it's really, really nice. I believe that's a trampoline net. Oh, a trampoline net. Okay. Oh, yes. Sorry. If I'd read the side of the box, thank you, cameraman, my, my hot hubby. So it's a trampoline net. Alrighty. Let's see what else we got in here. Tool case. Oh my goodness, that thing is heavy. All right, master craft tools. Let's see if all of them are here. Looks like they're all here. So it's got regular socket wrench. Oh, this is a um, air compressor tool set. It's not just a regular tool set. It's, it's an air, one for an air compressor. So these are really nice. I used these a lot. Um, I would always use the air compressor sets when I was in the military. So it looks like everything's here. It just kind of got jumbled out. So I'll have to make sure. I can look up this set specifically and see that um, it has all the pieces. Make sure we're not missing. But that's a really nice set. So that's going to be worth a lot of money. Alrighty. I'm going to do a second video where I break down the numbers for you and show you what I think I can get. Um, alrighty. Let's see what's in this one. Okay, this is a shower rack, like the ones that go in the corner that have the little triangle-shaped shelves. Looks like the box has been opened. Sorry, it's kind of, I'm holding it upside down. Corner shower basket tower set. Um, and so I'll make sure that all the pieces are here, but this is because the box has been opened, it'll probably go on eBay rather than Amazon. Amazon is real particular. You wanna definitely sell stuff only in brand new condition, never been opened. So I keep thinking I'm gonna unplug my microphone because it's hooked on my foot. There, sorry. Alrighty, ooh, this one was worth a lot. Tiny box in a big box, but this is actually Office 365 personal subscription. So it's a one-year subscription to the Office 365 day um, cloud storage, tablet, upgrades, features, stuff like that. So um, that's pretty expensive. Tiniest box, probably the biggest number. All right, this one is an amp, a Mastercraft amp. I've actually sold some of these and probably not this big, but I've sold smaller versions of these Mastercraft amps. They're basically a battery charger. Um, and so like if your lawnmower goes out or your car goes out, you have a battery charger to be able to um, recharge it with you. So it's one you plug into the wall and keep charged. So um, headlamps for your car. So Hopefully they're not broken, but those are, you know, usually a few dollars a piece. So probably not as high as $16, but they're usually money. And I, I will sell everything uh, that I can make a buck on. So, um, and we'll find various different ways now. Okay, here's another fun one. <laughs> Somebody got, went heyday with packaging again. So let's see. This says Alpine's Swiss. Swiss. Alpine Swiss, thank you. Alpine Swiss refuse it says on there so i have a sinking suspicion this is not going to be in good condition at all when they label it refuse <laughs> so we'll find out and see um sometimes i will sell some things that maybe aren't in the best condition on facebook marketplace and just be very clear about the condition that it's in this looks like an air mattress it's a coleman air mattress um i'll probably check and see if it holds air uh refuse i would be concerned that it has a hole in it so i'll probably blow it up and make sure that it holds air for a few days um and then kind of go from there so alrighty, what is this vinyl you want some vinyl flooring do you have walnut colored flooring buy it from me vinyl flooring who knew you could buy vinyl flooring online like this so here's the color match it with your floor there you go if you only need one only if you need like three strips of flooring that's what you get so vinyl flooring from hooked on picking all righty so yeah we're getting down to the nitty-gritty of the bottom of the box so 
I'm going to have to cut this box just to get in here because I'm a shorty. All right, hold on. Let me try not to cut me. Alrighty, that'll make it easier for me to get in there. Alrighty, this is a square box with no indicating factors of what's in here. Must be one of the general merchandise ones. Okay. Treasure hunt. Alrighty, it is a, looks like a curtain. I think that's what it is. I think it's a curtain. Yeah, curtain with tiebacks, I believe. Um, I will look up on the manifest to make sure. Um, it's got some weird shapes to it. So I think it's a curtain. I will look up on the manifest and then in part two, I'll clarify if I got this wrong. Um, but yeah, it definitely looks like a curtain, some kind of a, or it could be some sort of a furniture upholstery cover because it's got kind of straps on it that you would tie on. So it may be something like that as well. So. Alrighty, a balance ball for exercising. So it looks like it's been taped up a whole bunch. So maybe it's still brand new in box, I don't know. We'll have to check that one out. Um, total body balance ball. So these will sell really good, especially with the new year coming up, everybody wants to lose weight. So I jumped the gun I decided to lose weight before the new year. Alrighty. Canada weather gear. So this looks like a coat. It's got fuzzy, probably a fuzzy hood on it. Um, and really, really nice. It looks like a large, probably a men's. Looks like it's got leather. It's a leather and insulated Canada. It's got the Canadian leaf, leaf on it and everything. So I don't know much about that. So if you guys know anything about that particular brand, please let me know. Here's some curtains with the grommets. That's not a curtain, but this one is. So we've got quite a few. The cool thing about these are that they're all the same. I gotta close this before I cut them. They're all the same size or the same style. And so it's gonna make it a lot easier to list them because they're going to, um, I'll, all I have to do is put in quantity four and only do one listing. So whether I sell these on eBay or Amazon, um, it'll be a lot faster to list things that are multiple. So we'll set these down here. As you can see, I'm getting a good haul. So I'm gonna be busy for the next few days. I also have a couple cases I'm gonna open up later today too. Um, so look for those videos coming up. All right. I know that this is a Walmart box because I bought these boxes before. So let's see what's in it. I'm just gonna set it down right here. Okay, weird packaging again. What is in this one? It looks like some sort of a washcloth. Towel set, Elcove towel set. So Elcove must be the popular brand in this specific. I, every once in a while when you get pallets and boxes from, looks like a whole bath set, like washcloths, bath towels, the whole bit. Uh, when, when you get a whole set from bulk, a lot of times um, they have kind of a similar theme. Um, and I knew some of the things that were in here, but like I said, some of the other things were kind of just a, a guessing game. This has some sort of an electronic device. I think it's a camera of some sort. I'm gonna hurt myself. I did not mean to drop that, I'm sorry. It sounded loud on the camera, I'm sure, but it didn't really drop. Of course, I don't know, I may have just lost some money because I broke something. What is this? Oh, a really nice set of headphones. So the nice thing is, is I can plug these in and make sure that they work. Um, they're obviously not in the, the original package, but they look like they're really, really expensive ones. Um, they're padded better than any cheapo headphones I've ever bought. So we'll keep those together. The cool thing too is every single one of the uh, um, items you get from bulk has this little code on it, which basically you can find on the manifest. So if you're looking for a specific item and you don't know what to call it, um, you can look for this little um, code and it will, uh, you can find it on the manifest a lot easier. So I don't know if they do that for our convenience, but I know it's convenient for me when looking up stuff on the manifest. So I always go back and compare what it's called if I ever have difficulty trying to find it online. All right, this one, 
another unidentifiable box. Hopefully I'm not ripping anything, cutting into it. Okay, it looks like some sort of a comforter or duvet cover. Yeah, I would guess that is, it probably came in this bag. So um, another comforter. All right, the nice thing about those comforters is yes, they're big, but they're gonna be light to ship in. Um, when you're shipping a box to Amazon, you can't have the whole entire box of all the items, way more than 50. And so if you have to put it in multiple boxes, it's a little bit more of a headache. Okay, this says Copper Chef Cookware 13 pieces. As you can see, this box is all boogered up. And so if I decide to sell this, I'll probably rebox it simply because I don't want it to get broken in shipping. But let's see if everything's in here. I'll have to go through and count all of the pieces and find out. Um, but it looks like it's in really good shape. Copper cookware. I don't know that there's 13 pieces. Well, there might be with all the lids. I think they count that. So there looks like four or five different pans in here. And then if you add lids and probably a few accessories. All right, we're getting down to the bottom. Hold on, I'm gonna climb in. Okay. Keurig flavored coffee. Um, I might have to keep this. Hazelnut, caramel, vanilla cream, butter toffee, French vanilla. 42 K cups. So um, obviously, like I was telling you, you can get stuff that's brand new and then sometimes they do a shelf pull because it's got a crushed box. And that's probably why this one ended up getting pulled because of the crushed box. All right, food saver um, vacuum sealing system. I know these are relatively good price. I think they're around 19 to $30, depending on which style it is. So I'll have to look that one up, but it looks like that's in really good condition in the brand new, brand new in box. All right, let's see. McLeod wall mounting something. Let me read it. McLeod wall clock cherry so it's a wall clock i don't know if i want to open this right now i guess i will we'll see what it looks like this is obviously the original box that it's in but i want to make sure it's not broken the last thing i want to do is sell something broken to one of my customers all right i'm going to try my best to hang on to it so i don't drop it and break it myself okay yeah, it looks like a mantle clock of some sort. Real fancy one. If you can get up high and see it. Let me see if I can get this foam off the top of it. See it? It's real pretty and it's got the little pendulum right here. So I'm gonna set that very gently back in there. I'm not gonna try to cram it all back together. I'm gonna take some time and rebox that. Okay. It's not gonna fall there. Alrighty, then we have a painting system. Um, it's a painting project, one of those air painting, what do you call them? Does it say on the front? Flexor interior exterior paint gun, basically. So that's in good condition. I'm gonna set that, to climb out, set that here. Alrighty, this is what you do when you're tiny and you have to reach inside these boxes. You just climb it. All right, these is a Kensington privacy screen filter. Um, these actually sell for pretty good money. I sold a couple of really large ones, like 24 inch ones, um, for about $16, $17. And I know I said $16, $17 per item, but there are about four items in this box that I thought I could get anywhere from two to $400 on, so I'm hoping to make money. We're gonna go through everything in my second video and break it down for you. All right, color splash makeup set. That looks like it's brand new altogether. So that's really, really in good shape. All right, let's see what else we got in here. All right. Sennheiser, Sennheiser, high res audio um, headphones. They're a really, really nice set of headphones. This might be one of my really expensive things that I saw, but I like the condition of this box. Yes, it's been retaped, but I'm gonna look and see what kind of condition that box is actually in. Set that very gently there. All right, Neo Air X Lite. Um, it's a air mattress. So it's like a portable air mattress. This thing is tiny. That'd be perfect to like throw in your trunk or whatever if you're going camping. All right. 
another one of the headphones. Same exact kind as the other one. H559, unlock your home audio's true potential. So, okay, I'm afraid that's gonna fall. We'll put that there. And a different kind of headphones, but they're all the same brand. So I'm really hoping that these are worth good money. So I've got three sets of those headphones, just different styles. Some more smaller stuff in here. This is a matte foundation. Looks like Remington. Uh, this is a Fujifilm Instamax, Insta Mini um, Fujifilm. It basically makes credit card size photos. That's what it says. That's cool. All right. Gotcha. Um, the ultimate accessory for Pokemon hunters. Remember when that game is crazy? I think it's still popular a little bit, but um, so it's a watch that tells you where like the Pokeballs are and where the Pokemon are and stuff like that. Uh, a Galaxy Tab A. My son used to have this tablet until it got broke and then we got him a cheaper one. <laughs> so Galaxy Tab A, I'm gonna move that because I feel like it's gonna tip over right there. There. All right, then we have, oh, we're getting down to the end. All right, another foundation, uh, Luminous Air. And then we've got, what is this? Another unidentified treasure box. Let's find out what's in here. It says animated peekaboo spider table. Let's see if it actually, I'm pretty sure a table's not in here unless it's like a toy. So it might just have got put in a different box. So let's see what's actually in here. Ugh. Yuck. Grody. It's like, it's definitely broken, I think. Cause it's got like a base. And it looks like the foam is broke off the base. But if I can glue it back together and see if I can get it to work, I might be able to sell it on eBay, but a Halloween thing, that's gross. Doug Lake. All right, last thing. You ready? I'm gonna climb out with it. It sounds broken. All right, Seville Classics Organizer. Oh, okay, well, that would make sense why it's so loud. Um, it's a metal organizer. So let's see what kind of an organizer it is. We'll just open this up here. Yeah, it's like a, med a big metal shelf. Um, looks like one of those office organizers. Let me pull it out. See, one of those metal shelf organizers. It looks like it's stackable um, and you can put it under a cabinet or something like that. So, so it's not broken. It's just noisy. Get it right back in there, good. All right, so as you can see, I found some good stuff in there. Um, as you can see, the box is totally empty. There's nothing else left in it. Um, and I found a lot of good things. So I think I should be able to make my money's worth, um, especially out of some of the stuff that's, um, you know, the electronics and things like that. But I knew that there were about three or four things that if they were in good condition, I should be able to make my money um, up from it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spend some time, uh, my hubby and I, walking through how much everything is gonna cost and in what condition can, do we think we can sell it for. And we're gonna come back with you with a part two on this palette unboxing and let you know what we think we can come out ahead. So we've gotta make at least 7, 10, 70. The goal is to make more than that, obviously, because we're in this for making money. And so I'll come back with you on what all of this will equal out to and then uh, give you the stats. So hopefully this has been fun to see a bulk palette, unexpected returns, paid 490, shipped it for 200, paid a total of 710, 70, 42 items. Everything costs about $17 an item. And um, hopefully that gives you an idea what when you order from bulk, unexpected returns, what you're gonna get. And remember in the end, Jesus wins. This is Heather from HookedOnPickin.com. If you'd like to purchase my reseller guide, which is fully laminated three cards with checklists for Goodwill, eBay, and Amazon, please click the link below and you can purchase it now. The Goodwill card has over 80 different tips to show you how to walk through the store and what things I look for when walking through a thrift store to buy and resell items on Amazon, eBay, and other platforms. 
The Amazon reseller checklist has over six major steps and a lot of sub steps to look at in order to find out, is my item going to be perfect for selling and reselling on Amazon? The eBay card also has six major steps to walk through to make sure you're choosing the right item that will be perfect for reselling and making money on eBay. Each card is fully laminated so that it cannot be destroyed easily, and it's perfect for taking with you while you're going on your picking and finding treasure hunting for reselling. I hope this is helpful, and I hope these cards help you to focus your energy to pick the right items to resell online to grow your reseller business. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. If you'd like to watch more of my videos, just click on them here. And if you'd like to learn more about the reseller world, subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Thanks.